Hello ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you to my next tutorial video. This time <coughs> I'm going to show you how I make the pen crop. Um, I will only show you um, how it's done from here to here. The rest is already done. Um, I have already done it before um, because I think the last <coughs> tutorial was a bit too long. So I will only show um, you my concept for pen crop. Um, yeah, in this area. Um, but first, I want to um, tell you some basic rules you should take care of. So the first rule is um, no default keyframe modes. So in order to uh, make pen crop, you have to set keyframes. Um, and for that it is important that you don't use um, this linear keyframe mode but in most of the uh, cases you want to use the smooth um, mode um, but sometimes all, uh, also um, fast or slow but never use the linear keyframe mode. The second rule is sync it with the velocity. Um, if you have like a velocity boost uh, where where it speeds up, like here, <coughs> you should do something with the pen crop. Um, in most cases, I do like a zoom in to the weapon or just in the, uh, to the middle of the frame. Um, but you should definitely do something with it. Um, also, here the velocity uh, where it become where it becomes slower, uh, maybe zoom out or I don't know, just do something with the um, with the pen crop so the velocity and the pen crop are always synchronized in some way. Um, the next rule or the next tip is add variety and find your own style. So don't just copy what I'm going to tell you but um, find your own style. There's uh, unlimited ways of doing the pen crop and um, there's a lot you can uh, try out and um, just find your own style what uh, fits the music the best and uh, just add some personality um, and my last uh, tip is um, make it de decent don't exaggerate it so for example um, what I just told you about the velocity um, if you want to, you know, um, add a add a zoom in, um, at the velocity boost. Don't exaggerate it. Like, don't uh, don't do something like this from uh, from normal to here in like two frames. Um, that's too heavy and looks unnatural and bad in most cases. Um, of of course, if um, if you're using it as a stylistic device, uh, you can use it, but you should really not exaggerate it. So yeah, that's it so far uh, for the rules. Let's start with the actual pen crop. Um, yeah, the pen crop is mostly synced with the um, beats um, and the velocity, so you always have to um yeah take a look at the beats and the velocity but in first place uh, you want to sync it to the music so to some beats or bass drops or whatever so let's start um at the first um, at the very first frame you go uh, to this box here and make it bigger so this box represents the whole frame um, that means the bigger the box, um, the smaller the uh, image or the footage gets in the final output. Um, and of course, if you make the box smaller, um, the footage gets bigger. So make the footage, uh, make the box big so the footage is small. Um, or just zoom out. And then go forward like three frames. Um, if you're editing in 30 frames per second, 3 frames should mostly be good. So, yeah. Um, and zoom in a bit. So then we have another beat 
here. Let's just take this one. Um, what I like to do is if the uh, the beat is here, I go back one frame, set a keyframe um, to keep this position, and move this in slightly. So from here to here, we still have a little bit of zooming going on, um, just to add some more dynamic. Um, yeah, so this is our beat. Back one frame, zoom in a little bit, go forward two frames, and zoom in more like that. And I don't know where the next intense beat is, maybe this one. So, beat one frame back, slight, slightly zoom in. Uh, two frames forward, zoom in more, and let's see it, um, how it looks so far. Oops, let's lower the, re the resolution so we can play back it faster. Okay, we just have to add uh, the transition to the uh, to the actual shot now. So what I like to do is to go on the very last frame here, <coughs> go back. Yeah, maybe uh, uh, two, three, four, four frames. Um, zoom in a bit again, then go to the last frame and zoom in quite a lot. So like that, and as I already told you, never use the default li uh, linear key mode, keyframe mode. So click on the last frame, hold down shift, click on the first frame to select everything from here to here, and uh, right click on any of them and just select smooth. <laughs> That looks nice. So now we have the shot. Go right click again, video event panorama cropping. And what I like to do now is to zoom in just a bit. Um, that's also one of the tips I just gave you. Um, just really decent and not something like this that's way too heavy. Just some decent zooming and now I rotate it to uh, either left or right, doesn't matter. You um, can add some diversity with that. Sometimes to the left, sometimes to the right, and so on. So, two, three, four, five frames. In, yeah, F let's say five frames. So then uh, just right click anywhere in the box and select reset. Um, <coughs> so the whole uh, frame is filled again with the footage. Then zoom in a bit and rotate it just a bit to the um <coughs> to the side. You also have uh, rotated to um at the first frame. Then that's what I was talking about. Um, here's a little velocity boost. So here's the the beat. Um, go back one frame. Set a keyframe, and you also you should always have some um, motion <coughs> in the pan crop. So now I will just zoom out a little bit more and rotate to the other side and then go forward three frames zoom in a bit and go to the very end and just reset and zoom in a bit again click on the last frame hold down shift and select everything As 
you can see it's really smooth um, at the um, <coughs> like zoom in maybe it's already a bit too heavy so let's just zoom out again just a bit okay and I think this looks really good so go to the next clip and do the same again zoom in a bit rotate maybe now to the left go forward like okay we only have a few frames here let's see how many frames do we have uh, one two three four five five frames um let's just go forward three frames like this okay and now for the last two frames rotate to the other side and zoom in a bit more to create um, the transition uh, to the next to the uh, scope scene and it goes a bit too fast in my opinion so let's adjust the keyframe positions take the middle one or let's just delete this one go from the first frame um, zoom in a bit rotate and go to the last one and zoom in quite a lot to create the transition and oops now select both again and now we don't want to select smooth but fast so it has a fast movement because um, a transition from here to here even over five frames is quite slow so just um, select fast it doesn't look quite right so I think it rotates to the f uh, to the wrong side so just change the rotation um, <coughs> to something positi positive uh, so as you can see it, it's not easy you always have to try it out there are no set rules um, you have you, know, you can follow on the clip let's just leave it as as it is now and go to the scope scene <coughs> let's see it zooms in so uh, let's add like a like a bounce um, in the transition a bounce bounce transition um, rotate to the right up to the left like that one two three only has three frames so let's reset it zoom out a bit and rotate to the other side so we have this really fast movement Oops. Reduce the zooming a bit. Okay, I think that looks cool. And now we're at the point where I have already um, added the pan crop. So I think that looks really cool. And so, yeah, I will now show you the final outcome. I hope you found this tutorial uh, um, useful and um, I hope you can use my tips to find your own style and to improve your pan crop making skills, editing skills, whatever <laughs> I just hope you um, found this useful and it helps you with your um, editing so here's the final outcome and uh, have a nice day